Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I bring you Euroskank's Jelly Bro for the Asus TF300. So this is basically a South Kang of Cyanogen Mod 10, which is cherry picked of course, and the person in charge right now is Make Legs. He is of course on the XDA uh, developer page and we'll include the link down below to the thread. So first of all, um, I'm just using the stock launcher that comes with it. Um, I've tried with Nova, I've tried it with the stock trebuchet launcher and I have to say that it is relatively smooth of course it's a really pre-alpha build so they will be having some glitches here and there but it is relatively really smooth i haven't had much issues in the sense of like just you know crashing or rebooting so that's uh, a good part and it does include many of the cm9 features uh, that you 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 may use so let's just go take a look here in the settings and scroll down all the way take a look at about tablet here and this is the one released on the 24th. So right there it says uh, August 24th, Skanky TF300T. And let's take a look here again. Latest Android version 4.1.1. Okay, so what this brings is profiles. So profiles is a big thing in Cyanogen Mod 9. We're able to set up specific configurations for your home, for your work, whatever you want so right now it has nothing you just have to add it yourself I'm not gonna bother um, like setting it up so I'm just gonna leave it how it is right now turn it off and basically like you can completely customize it so turn on GPS when I leave the house that means when I switch to work mode um, enable Wi-Fi or disable Wi-Fi if you want to save battery whatever you want to set up it has the ability to set that up during the profiles now we're moving on to system and we have a power menu to allow screenshot or do not like show the screenshot option. So let's just show you guys here and you have screenshot there. Next up we have the status bar where you can show the clock, AM, PM style, whatever style you like. You can also auto hide the uh, bar at the bottom and show notification count which I do like. And then we're going to go back to notification drawer. And these are what you can enable. So let's just say we want to enable LED flash. Oh wait, we don't have one. So let's talk about sound maybe. And you can just reorganize them as well. So this is basically the traditional stuff. Um, let's just say I want Wi-Fi up front. Airplane mode there, that's fine. Bluetooth, GPS maybe above. And there you go, you have GPS setup. We also have the ability to use themes. Uh, as of right now, I haven't seen a compatible theme so far. Um, it keeps on saying that it hasn't been compiled correctly. So um, as of right now, there's no theme. And you have the ability to customize the lock screen. So you can have a custom background wallpaper for the lock screen itself. And you can um, change the shortcut. So by default, you have Google Now, Camera, and uh, Unlock. Let's just go here. Let's go choose an app here. And just say I want to launch. Once it actually does open, okay, I want to launch um, browser. Okay, go back, go back, click on browser. Actually, Aurora is nicer. Hit OK, and there you have it. So let's go test this out right now. Oh, wait, I forgot to save it. Hit save. Okay, now let's give that a shot. And there you go, and we'll put up Aurora browser. So, so far it's really stable. I haven't had any crashes like I mentioned before. You will notice some slight glitching uh, from uh, home screen to home screen and slight glitching throughout the um, app drawer. But again, camera does work. I've tested it out. If we go to gallery over here, um, take a look at the pictures. So this was when I had a um, stock ROM on uh, installed. This is panorama mode in CM10. As you can see, not too bad. Uh, it actually does a good job there. And this is just normal um, picture taking from the, with this ROM installed. And I gotta say that the color is much better than uh, before. So stock was a bit washed out uh, right here. Same lighting, same everything. And you can see that the colors are more deeper. So the camera does function well for me. Uh, panorama mode works well. I haven't really tested out um, camcorder mode. Uh, I can definitely check that out and show you guys if it works. So let's test out Google now. Google. 
distance to Niagara Falls. And we'll basically show you right there, it's 149 kilometers away from my place. Um, let's ask the same question we asked last time for the test. Actually, let's change it a bit. How old is Stephen Harper? Stephen Harper is 53 years old. And there you go. And that's it for this uh, build of uh, Euroskank's uh, Jelly Bro. I have to say I'm pretty satisfied so far with its uh, capability. It works fine. I, I've been using it as my daily driver for a while now. Uh, just basically for testing purposes. And I have to say that it, it is good. Like once I've set up Nova Launcher, it was able to be even smoother. So let's actually just try that out right now. Um, and there you go. Wait, this is still, why is it not launching? Launcher. And there we have Nova Launcher. So as you can see, really smooth with Nova Launcher setup here. Slight glitching, but it's less than the stock uh, launcher and as well app drawer is a bit faster in terms of usage. And there you have it. I'll keep you guys updated with the latest builds that come with. Uh, right now, I haven't set Nova Launch's default, so it just keeps on going back. But this is the one released on August 24th. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please do comment and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Please add us there as well. Thanks.